everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown Tech. Today I'm actually going to be going over a $1,500 Hackintosh build. This thing is going to be able to crush video editing in Final Cut Pro in addition to Photoshop and things like that. And it's got tons of upgradability for you in the future should you say want to upgrade and keep this Hackintosh life running much, much longer than any other Mac because again, you can upgrade it. So that is freaking awesome. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into this. But first, where should you buy your parts? Well, they're all linked down below on Amazon. And if you go down there and buy any of those parts through any of those links, it does help support our channel. So thank you very, very much for doing that in advance. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on in to this build. So first and foremost, we need a CPU. And for that, we're going with an Intel Core i7-8700K. This is an awesome six core CPU that will be competent, like I said, in video editing and just killing any and everything you want to do on your Mac, this processor will be able to do it. However, it does need a CPU cooler, so we're going with the Cryorig 87 CPU cooler. This thing's nice and sleek, and it'll look really, really good inside of your case. Plus, it'll allow for a bit of overclocking. I wouldn't go too crazy with it, if I'm honest. If you want to do that, I would recommend an AI water cooler, which I've actually got linked down below as well. So, if you want an air-cooled system, you have an option for that. Or, if you want a water-cooled system, that is linked down below as well, even though the water cooler is is about $30 to $50 more expensive depending on the time of day because that's how PC parts are. But nevertheless, you have options for your CPU cooler. But for this build and for the price, I would recommend just this air cooler. It's going to serve you very well. Now, what about our motherboard? Motherboards are very, very important when you're building a Hackintosh and you don't just want to haphazardly choose one. So I went with one that's very tried and true, a Gigabit motherboard. Specifically, their Z370 HD 3P motherboard. This is going to be a great board for you. It supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, should you want to upgrade to that in the future. We're not going to have that in the system out the gate here, but you could upgrade to it. That's the whole point of a Hackintosh. Easy upgradability, or one of the points, and easy upgradability is one of them, so upgrading this to up to 64 gigabytes of RAM will be very possible in the future. It also has plenty of PCI and PCI e-slots. Say you want to add in a sound card, say you want to add in a Wi-Fi card, which is recommended and we're going to be doing here. You can do that without any problems whatsoever for your Hackintosh build, so that's great in addition to the fact that this is a very Hackintoshable motherboard that has been done over and over and over again without any problems whatsoever. Now we were talking about memory, but what are we going with for our memory? Well, we're going with two 8 gigabyte sticks of Crucial Ballistic Elite memory. I would recommend adding in two more 8 gigabyte sticks to get this thing up to 32 gigabytes of memory in the future, but just out the gate, this is going to be a competent amount of RAM. We're actually running an 8 gigabyte Hackintosh system with the Final Cut Pro without any issues right now guys so that is something you can look forward to is easy 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 use of RAM on your Hackintosh. 16 gigabytes should be good, but if in the future as programs get more and more advanced, you can easily upgrade to 32 gigabytes by just buying two more 8 gigabyte sticks and popping them right on into this system. This is actually DDR4, 3000 megahertz RAM as well, meaning it's going to give you plenty of speed. So that's our RAM, but what about our other storage? Well, we're going with a one terabyte Western Digital Blue SSD. I wouldn't recommend putting in just a normal standard hard drive in a back. You need an SSD and that's what we're going with here. You could actually buy another one of these if you wanted to double your storage and it wouldn't be too much out of the bank. These things are only going for $130 right now so that's great. It's nice to see SSD prices coming down that much. This will be common at stores for you. I don't know about you but on my Mac I never use more than 150 gigabytes so yeah this should be good. Moving on from there we're going with our graphics card and specifically for our graphics card it is Nvidia because those are easier for Hackintoshes and it is the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1070 Ti 8 gigabyte graphics card. This is going to be a killer graphics card. Your Hackintosh should actually be able to play pretty much any and all games on the market right now, guys, without any issues at 1080p, 60 FPS. Say you wanted to dual boot to Windows or something, or even game on your Mac, you're not going to have any problems doing that with this uh, graphics card. So, great stuff there. It's also going to be incredible for Final Cut exporting and even Adobe Premiere exporting if you wanted to edit in either of those programs. From there, let's go 
ahead and look at our case and for that we're going with the NZXT S340. This is a great case. It's sleek. It's got a side window. It's got incredible cooling and cable management so you won't have to worry about that whatsoever which gives a big thumbs up of approval from me. So great stuff there. This is going to look good in any setup and now we just need our power supply which is going to be from EVGA specifically a 650 watt EVGA Supernova G2 Plus power supply. Gold Plus certification. Plenty of room for a little bit of overclocking and ramping up for GPUs and things like that. So awesome stuff there. This is going to be a great power supply for this system. Plus it's fully modular, again allowing for incredible cable management. Now I am going to throw in a Wi-Fi card in the description down below, but I don't specifically have it picked out right now. I know, a little unprofessional, but I wanted to look and, and see what was recommended for this system for you guys, and it will be linked down below, and it'll just pop in and allow you to use your Wi-Fi on your Hackintosh without any hitches, without any issues, and that's why I wanted to make sure I got the correct one, because the one that I added, to be honest, in my list here, I don't think that's the right one, so just look at what's in the description down below, and it will help you out. Nevertheless, when it's all said and done, this PC, including a $100 uh, Wi-Fi card, which is a bit more than I would recommend paying, and what you'll probably have to pay for it, comes in at $1,489.72 under $1,500 for an incredible Hackintosh system. If you want to see how to Hackintosh, check out the eye up there. I have an in-depth guide on it. Nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other prices for Hackintosh builds, let me know that in the comment section down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech, and I'm out, guys. Peace.